Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to install an antivirus software. Um, we're going we're gonna to be installing a very, very good antivirus software. Um, the reason why I wanted to create this video is because I overheard some people talking the other day uh, that they sent their computer into a uh, retail store uh, computer repair company. And uh, they were kind of talking about how much the cost was going to be for using a uh, virus uh, scanner that I wouldn't really even recommend and um, I just felt so sorry for them that I had to tell them about this website and um, they love the advice and and uh, I thought I might create a video about how to do this uh, for some people that are looking for a good free solution to uh, keep their computers clean and save some visits to uh, the local repair shop so what we're going to do is uh, open up Internet Explorer we're going to type malware bytes anti-malware what you want to do is make sure you select the malwarebytes.org uh, don't don't click any of these sponsored links you want to do malwarebytes.org uh, just to make sure that you're going to the right one now we're going to go ahead and click download free version guys the only thing difference between the free version and the full version is that the full version has a real time protection and uh, and some scheduling uh, scans scheduled scans if you want to fork over 20 bucks and get the full version, that's awesome. Um, I would. Uh, but if you don't have the money and you're just looking for something to clean your computer real quick, if you're causing you a whole bunch of problems, um, then uh, go ahead and just download the free version. Uh, you just, it's gonna still going to provide you all the updates and it's still going to clean up any viruses you may have. The only thing different is, is that you're going to, you know, rec I recommend you running a scan at least once a week or once every two weeks just because you're not going to have any type of real-time protection so what we're going to do is if you notice when I clicked uh, uh, get the free version it took us to the CNET download page sometimes it'll take you here sometimes it might take you to another website uh, after a little while I got a pop up here on the top I right clicked and hit download this is popped up here it wants to run or save the file I'm going to hit run let's give it a second while it downloads here Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click run. And I'm going to choose English language. Hit next. Everything here is, is good with the defaults. I'm accepting. I'm hitting next. Installing it. That's fine. This last one was just to create a desktop icon. That's fine. I'm going to hit install. So this will install pretty quickly. When it finishes, I'm going to update and launch. So I'm just going to hit finish. Now, the whole the whole thing about antivirus software is that you need to keep it updated. If you're even out uh, from updating uh, at least five days, it's still you know that could cause so many problems. A new virus can come out within um, that time. So what we want to do is make sure it's updated. A non-updated antivirus is just as bad as not having any kind of antivirus. So I went ahead and did an update as you see it went ahead and successfully updated the database and now Malwarebytes will be launching. Okay, so what we want to do is just click this update button here just to verify that it's updated. Today is September 22nd, 2009 and I know it's good. Um, next week when I scan my computer again I'm going to click this button check for updates. It's going to check if I have the latest database version that's fine. If not, it's going to download just like it did beforehand. And then now what I'm going to do is go to do a full scan and hit scan. Before I do that, I kind of wanted to show you what I was talking about with the protection. We can't have real-time protection because we're using the free version. That's the reason why it has purchase. There's a lot of other things. Um, certain, certain, you could do an ignore list if you wanted, but um, certain things. So you would have to purchase uh, to get certain features. But we're going to go ahead and go to scanner. I'm going to run a full scan. And I'm going to click my C drive because it's the only partition I have right now. And I'm going to hit start, start scan. Now, guys, when this is done, you're going to, if you have any infections, they will pop up here. Um, if it found anything, what you're going to do is you're going to go and click a button that's going to pop up here that's going to say remove all uh, selected. You're going to click that. It's going to remove all the viruses. If it's a real bad virus, it's going to want you to reboot. Uh, if not, when it says it's done, it's done. Guys, you're going to be clean. So you might want to run this. 
please run this scan. If this doesn't help you, then go ahead and take your computer in. But I could tell you 99.9% .9 of the time, this is going to fix it. It's going to save you a lot of money um, so you don't have to take your computer to a Geek Squad or Fire Dog or whatnot. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep your computers clean and make sure you run an antivirus scan at least once or twice a week. Thanks.